My name is Tommy Bear, and I have a rare condition where I'm not able to picture things in my head. It's hard to imagine what it's like not to imagine. Aphantasia is the inability to visualize in your mind's eye. Think of some cherished memories or some visions of your future. People with aphantasia don't create those mental images in their mind's eye. I remember things in ideas. So I could tell you that, you know, last weekend I went to the cottage and we took out the boat and we went fishing and I could tell you the different lures that I used to catch different types of fish at different times of the day. And I remember all those details, but I don't visually imagine those details. I don't have any images, sounds, feelings associated with any of those memories. Think of your last bad break. The visceral experience you have when you're thinking of those memories, the emotions. And, you know, I could tell you in those details what happened to me, but I don't relive the experience. I don't have those emotions associated with it. Uh, and, and it goes beyond that. You could imagine, you know, having a bad experience doing anything, playing golf or eating a food that you don't, you know, you didn't enjoy. And I might remember that I didn't enjoy it the first time I did it, but. There's no emotional connection to that memory. There's no, I'm not reliving any of those negative experiences. And so I'm actually far more likely to try it again in a new context. When I first discovered I had aphantasia, uh, I had come home from a party where me and the girl I was seeing at the time had seen a mutual friend that we hadn't seen in about a year. And she said to me, that she was wearing the same clothes that she was wearing last time we saw her about a year ago. And I was very confused by this. I said, how do you remember what she was wearing a year ago? And she told me, well, I have a clear image in my mind of that memory. When she first told me, I was very confused. I had no idea what she was talking about. Uh, I must have asked a hundred different questions about what she remembered, how she remembered it, what those pictures actually looked like. Um, was it just pictures? I was obsessed with this for months, years even, asking everyone I could think about, you know, and, and a lot of people didn't understand what I was saying. That, you know, they either write it off or, you know, you're crazy, you don't know what you're talking about. Of course you can visualize, how can't you visualize? How do you remember me if you can't visualize? And that was really confusing because it was like, how can I remember you if I can't visualize? I couldn't answer a lot of the questions that people were asking me at the time. Uh, and that led me on a path of discovery. A few years ago, I was speaking with a colleague at work, telling them about my inability to visualize. She shared this story with some of her friends in the neuroscience field. She came back a few weeks later with a study from the United Kingdom that told a story of a patient who had the ability to visualize, but then went for a surgery and came out of that surgery with the inability to visualize. Finding that journal, I reached out to the professors that were doing that research. And after a number of interactions going back and forth, the researchers published their findings and named the condition aphantasia. Fantasia was the word Aristotle used to describe the power of imagination. Aphantasia is without. Learning I had aphantasia and that there was a name for this condition was liberating made me feel validated, like I wasn't crazy. And I could explain this to people in a way that they might give it some more authority, that this wasn't just something in my mind, but something that people were studying and other people were experiencing as well. I actually learned that people with that condition had excelled in all different aspects of life, uh, from creatives to business leaders. And that gave me the confidence that, you know, this. I don't need to see this as a disadvantage. You know, it was, it was difficult. It was really difficult to learn that other people were doing this thing that I couldn't do. That 
I couldn't relive great memories, great experiences from my past, remember loved ones that were gone, or think about my future and imagine what that might be like. You know, it, it permeated through my whole life and every experience and every different type of thing I was doing, I would think about what if I could visualize? What if I could remember this in a different way? It wasn't until I learned that there is common language for this, that this is aphantasia and many people share the experience. And there are actually a lot of strengths associated with aphantasia that I was able to reframe that narrative, to start to see the strengths in the condition. And that changed my whole life.